Hey guys, so today we're going to be actually applying the principles of motion. So today or in a previous lesson, you should have learned about Isaac Newton and how he created many different um, laws that govern us today, right? So laws of motion. And he's created different equations that use mathematics to calculate those different laws. So what you should have in front of you right now is your um, average speed, right? Calculating the average speed of an object. With that sheet, one of the things that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create a hypothesis, right? So any good scientist is going to create a hypothesis, right? So our question today is, does height impact the speed of an object, right? And if you write yes, then at what intervals? So well, if you are at six inches, is it going to be a greater increase than eight inches? Or is it going to be a lower, or is it going to be a lower increase than the eight inches, right? So what's the difference um, within the time, OK? So let's talk about the actual formula, right? So the formula that you will use today is S equals DT. So S is going to stand for speed, OK? So you're going to have speed here, right? And then the D and the T. So it's D times T. So D equals the distance. And T is equal to time, right? So with those now identified, we can use those to actually um, calculate our speed when we actually get into the uh, activity. OK, guys, so here's what the actual lab is going to look like. Before you start the lab, you need to make sure that everyone has their worksheet out. Okay, make sure you guys name, date, and put the class period on it, because I will collect them at the end of the period. You will have your wooden car. You're going to need your ramp. The stand at the exact height of the ramp. Stopwatch, okay? Everybody should have a job. One person is going to record what the timer actually um, got. One person is going to release the car. One person is going to stop and start the timer. One person is going to be in charge of, or two people will be in charge of cleaning up and getting the materials, okay? So the first person will get the materials to the table. The second person will bring the materials back to the table, okay? so. When we are all set, everyone's ready, you're going to put the car on the top of the ramp, okay? Timer should be watching the person holding the car. And the person holding the car should say, three, two, one, release the car, and the timer stops, and then stop the timer, okay? So the person timing really needs to pay attention to when the car is fully off the ramp, you have to stop, okay? So just for an example, that first trial run I got was 1.62, okay? So I will write that in my first trial. And then you continue throughout the five trials, all right? Before you start the actual trials, make sure that you guys have your hypothesis, okay? So again, the question is, does height impact how fast a car speed will be? Okay, and if so, at what intervals do you think it is going to affect the car? So when you look around the classroom, other groups will have different heights. Okay, so at the end of this activity, we will come together and we will plot our times on the back of our worksheet. Okay, 
So make sure everyone is ready to start the lab. So again, you need all your materials, okay? Everyone should have the paper in front of them. And then once everyone has a roll, you guys can start. All right, so enjoy physics. <laughs>